my college career was over. I got offered a job to become a hospital administrator. Two year program, $75,000 job. And right before I took the job, my daddy called me on the phone. Let me tell you about my daddy. When I was a little boy, my daddy would always pick me up. When he came home from work, he'd pick me up. When he saw me in the nursery after church, he'd pick me up. No matter how long he worked, no matter how tired he was, my daddy would always pick me up. So when I had my kids, I would always pick up my kids. When I got home, sometimes I was tired. They have a bottle in one hand, and they just lifted up the other hand, and they knew what daddy was supposed to do. My job was to pick them up. is a spiritual interaction. When you pick up a child, it is a spiritual transaction. When you pick up a child, you change their perspective. When you pick up a child, all of a sudden they can see the world the way you see it. I don't care what your children have done, there is nothing they can do for you to stop picking them up. When my daughter's a drug addict, I don't care, pick her up. My son messes up. I don't care. Pick him up. I don't care. Pick them up. That is your job, mama. That is your job, daddy. That is your job, grandma. That is your job, granddad. Your number one job is to pick them up and change their perspective. My saddest day, one day, my daddy looked at me and he said, boy, you too big, I can't pick you up anymore. But when he couldn't pick me up physically, he would pick me up emotionally. He would pick me up spiritually. I had a great dad because he would always pick me up. He would always change my perspective. So my daddy called me on the phone, he asked me a question. He said, son, you had a tough year, what's next? I said, dad, I'm gonna be a hospital administrator. He said, not bad, but let me ask you a question, son. Do you believe you're an NBA player? You cannot produce yourself in image, son. If you don't think so, go take the job. But if you believe you're an NBA player, go for it. My dad had the self-control and discipline and waited for my answer. And my answer was yes. You're right, Dad. The film in the NBA is a dream. I've had it ever since I was a little boy. He said, go for it, son. I limped back into my coach's office with a cast to my foot. Tears in my eyes. I said, Coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? He said, do two things you can play in the NBA. Lose 20 pounds or shoot a three-point shot with range, you can play in the NBA. If you lose 20 pounds or shoot a three-point shot with range, you can play in the NBA. I lost 20 pounds, and every day I would shoot 500 shots a day, every single day. I got invited to training camp with the Dallas Mavericks, and not only did I make the team, I became the first ever undrafted rookie free agent in the history of the Dallas Mavericks to start over the night. I got to the arena, they dip the lights, and they put the spotlight right on me. Right to the spotlight, I saw my mom, my dad, and all my brothers and sisters. Then I saw my dad. He's pumped my fist. He pumped his fist. And tears streamed down my face. Thank you for all those timeouts. Thank you for making sure I was always home when the streetlights came on. Thank you for making sure I could always hear your voice. Thank you for always changing my perspective.